Hello everyone and welcome back to another example. So today we are just keep on going with the shear force and bending moment diagrams. So if you're ready, let's just go right through it. So here we have just um, this, this simply supported beam, right? Uh, two fixed supports, not fixed supports, hinge supports, and with a, um, with a lot of point loads on top, all right? So the way we solve this is no different from every problem we've done so far, right? First step is always find the reactions, right? And some of you might look at this and say, well, isn't it symmetrical? So all I have to do is add up these four forces and then just divide by two and then that's equivalent. Well, you'd be absolutely correct, right? So the total load is eight kilonewtons. So there's just four kilonewtons on both sides, right? If you're unsure, you can always do your sum of forces and sum of moments, right? So if you just do sum of forces in the y direction, right? And then you get equal to zero for, um, sorry, not for a y plus b y and then minus eight in total equals zero, a y plus b y equals eight and then your sum of moments around, let's say, A counterclockwise equals positive, equals zero. So you would have uh, two times four, and then, um, uh, well, I'll just write it. So two times four is eight plus, um, and then uh, eight times two is 16, uh, 12 times two is 24, um, 16 times 2 is 32, and finally, um, is that it? 1, 2, 3, 4, yes, 4 forces, and then with your, um, finally, by equals 20 by, right? And you should get by equals a, a 4, and a y would also equal 4, okay? So that's how you get it quickly, but you can look at it, say it's symmetrical, call it a day, okay? So, graphical method. This is a, by far the easiest way you don't do this. You don't have to break it up into equations unless, you know, your, you know, your professor really wants you to, but we're going to do graphical method here, all right? So, start from zero, right? Go up four, just follow the loads, right? If it's going up, go up, right? And since there's no nothing in acting in between here, right? It's just continuous, flat line, okay? And then two, so we go down. Since this is a downward force, we go down by two, right? That's two. Nothing in between here, right? Go down by two again, right? Downwards force, go down on the graph, right? Nothing in between here, go down another two, right? Negative two. And then nothing in between here, and then finally go down another two. And then finally, last force goes up, back to zero. Okay, that's your shear force diagram. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? So how to draw the bending moment diagram? Area under curve, okay? First, we are going to find this area, right? Four times four, 16, right? And then two times four is eight. Negative eight, negative 16, symmetrical, okay? So if, let's say, if we give a benchmark, this is 16 and this is eight, right? We go up, go to 16 from zero, right? Because this is the area. It's a rectangular area, therefore constant straight line going up, right? And then go up about half of that so that's plus 8 right that's this area so 16 plus 8 24 right no area in between here 0 right and then minus 8 so it's we know it's kind of symmetrical like this so 16 then finally 0 right uh, let me write this on this side there you have it Okay, all straight line portions. And that's your uh, shear force and bending moment diagram for this problem. Super quick, super easy. If you understand the principles, uh, you should be able to get this, but 
Uh, I know that some of the um, some of the some of the loads might confuse some people, and all you need to do is just remember it only affects the shear force diagram. When you have point loads, they just go up and down like this. All right, nothing nothing complicated here. Okay, so it's all about the pattern recognition. Um, again, if you can't see that it's symmetrical, just use some of forces and some of the moments. You get the same thing. Okay, and uh, yeah, remember to add the area. And straight line, right? Because it's rectangle, negative area, you decrease, you subtract it by that amount. And uh, yeah, quick example today. So um, yeah, if you found that helpful, that's great. Keep keep on practicing. And if you don't, don't get discouraged. You know, uh, these things definitely do take time. I'll have a lot of examples on this channel soon. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that covers it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next video.